What I know is J-Hard once again giving you the latest edition of Two Minute Drill, where I'm giving you my take on some of the latest and interesting news stories. First up, no more masks on planes. Yep, TSA just made the announcement that they are no longer going to enforce COVID mask mandates on planes. That's after a federal Florida judge, let me get this name right, U.S. District Judge Catherine Kimbell Mazel, who was appointed by Trump, mind you, ruled that the CDC has been overstepping this authority. Yeah, you can do what you want with this kind of information. Me, myself, personally, I'm going to wear my mask because besides the fact that I still don't trust a lot of mofos, I get tired of a little small talk on planes and the mask kind of prevents that. Like, asking me questions like, where you going and why? As if we didn't buy the same ticket. What you defend to Sally Mae? Next up, a man sues his job for throwing him a birthday party. A Kentucky man knew that his birthday was coming up, so he asked the people at his job to not throw him a birthday party because he suffers from anxiety. They throw him a birthday party anyway. He has a panic attack. He comes to work the next day. He asks them, why did you do that? They sent him home for two days of some ungrateful stuff. He sues him and wins for $450,000. Now, this story hits a little close to home because I got anxiety issues myself, but I cannot understand. Why couldn't you give me like a surprise promotion with a surprise raise, a surprise office? Why is it that I got to be surprised in a corner with a super sugary cake that's going to give me diabetes with a bunch of folks that I don't even like? And lastly, Elon Musk boss Twitter. Yeah, the world's most richest man and some say most controversial, Elon Musk purchased Twitter for $44 billion. I'm going to say it again, $44 billion. Now, this is part of his thing that he's been stating publicly about advocating for free speech, which he feels has been under danger. Look, I can't front. I have no idea, no predictions of what the outcome of a move like this may be, but I do find it interesting when white men get to pumping their chest about their free speech as if they got 400 years of oppression and having their voices being taken away from them. They always kind of put themselves as victims, especially the rich ones. I also find it hella interesting how a move like this with Elon Musk happens to bring Trailer Park and Hotep together at the same Applebee's bar and share Budweiser Beer's celebration like he's one of them. All right, that's it. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Two Minute Drill. As usual, you feel differently or if there's a story that we missed, make sure you write yourself a comment in the comment section below. I'm Jay Hall, representing AURN. You can follow me and my abstract opinions all on social media platforms at Jay Hall Society. Be blessed, be successful. RIP to K-Slay, and we'll talk to you soon.